guys. So just like I promised, another Nutrition 101 video. Yay! So this video is about folic acid versus folate. Mm -hmm. What is the difference? Sorry about that. That was my phone. Um, a lot of people use the terms folate and folic acid interchangeably and it's just not quite right. There are some subtle differences and as G.I. Joe says, knowing is half the battle. So we are going to do a quick and dirty lesson on the subtle differences between folic acid and folate. To start off, folate is a B vitamin. It's kind of a blanket term for water-soluble B vitamins. There's a specific group of water-soluble B, B vitamins. Um, and it's also sometimes referred specifically to as vitamin B9. Um, rarely, but if you hear of vitamin B9, they're, re they're referring to a water-soluble B vitamin folate. Um, folate is what you'll find in naturally occurring in foods and organic things. And folic acid, on the contrary, opposite of that, it's an oxidized synthetic compound that we use in supplements. Now, the form that your body wants that can be more easily absorbed is folate. And because it's more easily absorbed, it's more beneficial. Um, it's a naturally occurring form, and it contains something. It's a long word here, so bear with me. It's called tetrahydrofolate. And tetrahydrofolate can be absorbed into the metabolic folate cycle, where it's absorbed and efficiently used and sent to the rest of the body for proper and good use. It's put to good use that way. Um, folic acid, it, in order to become tetrahydrofolate, which is what your body needs, it has to go through a conversion process. And it goes through that conversion process in the liver. It requires a certain enzyme in order to convert it. Unfortunately, there's usually not enough of that enzyme in our liver to convert the amount of folic acid we've taken in through our supplement. So then we just have an abundance of unconverted folic acid kind of just hanging out in our body. What are the risks that come along with that? Well, uh, unfortunately, there are a few. Um, there are some major risks associated with a high intake or a high buildup of folic acid in the body. Um, it includes increased risks of several kinds of cancer, um, including colon and prostate cancer. Um, it also can kind of mess with your blood work results, which can mask possible B12 deficiencies. And B12 is very vital to the body as well. And without B12, especially in older adults, it can cause serious damage to your central nervous system and cognitive abilities. Again, especially in um senior citizens, they are especially vulnerable to that um, because of the need of B12 for central nervous system function and folate, same thing. Um, the folic acid can mess with your blood work and it'll come back that your B12 and everything's normal when it actually is not and it's low. Um, so back to folate. It's important to get it from a natural source. We've kind of established that, but why do we need it in the first place? What does it do? I will tell you. I don't wanna go into too much detail, but I will link a website that'll give you more 
details about all of this in the info bar. So check that out if you want more specifics. But simply put, um, it helps create and maintain a healthy brain and central nervous system. It helps maintain a healthy cardiovascular system. It helps with reproductive health. And it is also essential for making red blood cells. And that's just to name a few things. It does a lot of other stuff. And again, check the info bar down there for some more info. Well, an external link to a site that will give you a lot of information on that. So, um, yeah. And if I didn't already mention, I will also list in the info bar um, a list of foods that are rich in folate because you need your folate. Um, so now, you know, as with pretty much everything, natural is the way to go. Again, check with your doctor before taking any kind of supplements and everything like that before altering your diet. Uh, if you're already getting an adequate amount of folate in your diet, then good for you. If not, check out that food list and uh, stay away from the bottled folic acid unless you have been told specifically you need it for some some reason. Um, and then, you know, still double check because folate is the way to go. So if you're told you need more folic acid in your diet, try to do it through food versus supplementation. Um, so yeah, so check the info box for a list of those foods. Um, check the info box for another link if you want more detailed information about what folate actually does to benefit the body and why you need it. Uh, thanks for watching. I will be doing another Nutrition 101 video soon. Uh, I think next time it'll be iron versus protein because sometimes people get those mixed up as well. And yep, that's, that's our quick and dirty. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope that you guys learned something. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And we will meet back here again soon. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.